Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss the term accidents. Introduction. Accidents is a fundamental branch of grammar that delves into the accidents of words, referring to the inflections or variable endings that words take on to express different grammatical categories such as tense, mood, voice, aspect, person, number, gender, and case understanding accidents is crucial for grasping the full meaning and function of words within sentences as these inflections play a key role in conveying precise grammatical relationships and nuances the role of accidents in grammar accidents involves the study of how words change form to reflect various grammatical functions these changes or inflections can indicate tense and aspect. Inflections can denote when an action takes place, past, present, future, and the nature of the action, completed, ongoing, habitual. Mood Inflections can express different moods such as indicative, statements of fact, subjunctive, hypothetical or wishful statements, and imperative commands. Voice Changes in form can indicate active or passive voice, showing whether the subject is performing or receiving the action. Person and number Inflections can differentiate between first, second, and third person, as well as singular and plural forms. Gender in some languages, words inflect to indicate masculine, feminine, or neuter gender. Case Inflections show the grammatical case, indicating the function of a noun or pronoun in a sentence, for example, subject, object, or possession. Examples of accidents in English In English, accident is evident in various word forms, particularly in verbs nouns, pronouns, and adjectives. Here are some examples. Verbs Tense and aspect The verb to walk inflects to show different tenses and aspects. Present, walk. Past, walked. Present continuous, walking. Present perfect, have walked. And past perfect, had walked. Mood Indicative She walks to school. Subjunctive If she were to walk to school, she would be healthier. Imperative Walk to school. Voice Active She walks the dog. Passive The dog is walked by her. Nouns Number Nouns inflect to show singular and plural forms. Singular Cat Plural Cats Possession. Nouns inflect to show possession. Singular possessive. Cats. The cat's toy. Plural possessive. Cats's. The cat's toys. Pronouns. Person, number, and case. Pronouns inflect to show person, number, and case. Subjective. I, you, he, she, it, we, they. Objective Me, you, him, her, it, us, them. Possessive My or mine, your or yours, his, her or hers, its, our or ours, their or theirs. Adjectives Comparison Adjectives inflect to show comparative and superlative forms. Positive, tall, comparative, taller, and superlative, tallest. Conclusion Accidents is a vital aspect of grammar that encompasses the inflections and variable endings of words, shaping their grammatical function and meaning within sentences. By understanding accidents, one gains insight into the intricate ways in which Languages can convey tense, mood, voice, person, 
number, gender, and case. This knowledge enhances our ability to comprehend and use language effectively, whether in English or other languages, with more complex inflectional systems. So this was the discussion on the term accidents. We will meet in the next video and discuss some other term. Until then, goodbye and thank you. Hello everyone. Welcome to this series on literary terms and literary theory. If you want to study the notes and MCQs related to this term, you can click the link given in the description. We are also going to start our online and offline classes for UGC net for English literature very soon. So stay connected with us.